Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this week. We're doing something different tomorrow morning, early, early in the morning. We're packing up and we are driving to Boone, North Carolina, and we're gonna be staying in a cabin for the first time. Allie and I have never stayed in a cabin before, so we're gonna find out whether we like the cabin maybe better than RVing, or if we miss the RV and wish we had it there. So stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll let you guys know what we decide. Well, this is uh, something we don't do very often, is get up this early in the morning. It is just before 5 a.m. And we are getting ready to hit the road for Boone, North Carolina. And something new that we have not done before, and that is stay in a cabin. This week we are not RVing like we normally would on a trip and a vacation, but we are going to be staying in a cabin for our first time. Allie's dad and stepmom Nori will be here shortly, so we're all gonna pile in the truck here, get the back seat ready, and make about a 10 to 12 hour drive north to North Carolina. And I'm gonna be using our set power fridge for this trip. It's gonna be actually sitting underneath Nikki. I built a little platform here for her, so Jake can sit either here or there and Nori, and Nikki can kinda of lay down and she'll be able to kind of go back and forth between the dog box and back here. But we need to have some uh, frozen food items taken, especially Nikki's dog food. And uh, I've got it cooling down now. I just turned it on and it's already down to 37 degrees. So it won't be long before it's a, it's a freezer again. Guys, well, we have been on the road for about two hours now and we have another eight hours left to our destination. We've got my dad and stepmom with us. <laughs> We're meeting up with my brother and his wife and our nephews. So looking forward to seeing them and spending some family time together. So I have to say it feels pretty strange driving in the truck. Um, we're so used to having our class A with our long journeys, but feels like we're back in the old days with the trailer, pulling the trailer behind us, except we don't have a trailer. Yep. I have to say that I do like the class A. I like the room that I have to get up and get something to eat or go to the bathroom. We have to stop now. Oh my gosh, I had to turn my camera on to see where the where the road was. Cause I'm like looking at the sky. Uh, hey. I told her to film coming in. We got scared and forgot to film. <laughs> ah, we have made it to the cabin in Boone. Allie has ran down to the grocery store to get us some things for breakfast and everything. But the cabin's pretty cool. I have to say the drive up to the cabin was a little sketchy and scary, but uh, the cabin itself is really cool. So first night down, we, uh, this is our first full day here in Boone, North Carolina. And I think the plan for today is we're probably gonna go to Grandfather Mountain. We were awakened, I should say this morning by some neighbors over here. They must be cutting some trees, pretty noisy. So we ended up getting up a little earlier this morning than we kind of had planned on. But uh, we had some fun last night. Just hung out and played some guitar with my nephew, Ross, and, and ate some pizza and drank some shots of Jaeger. <laughs> For those of you who watch our channel a lot, you know we do love our Jaeger. If you didn't know better, you'd probably think we drink Jaeger all the time, but it's generally only on the weekends we'll have some. They do have a hot tub here. I don't know if it's uh, working or not, or how hard it would be to uncover. Uh, I might go check that out and see. They do have a nice fenced-in backyard here for Nikki. Actually, last night I was taking Nikki out right here along this driveway when a dog, you know, basically came running down this road, come running down this driveway right here, kind of chased me and Nikki back in the house. And that was a little scary. It was dark, looked like a pit bull. I don't know if it was a pit bull or not, but I definitely wasn't going to stick around to see. So we hightailed it back into the house. But the weather is actually really good here. It's like 47 degrees, it's mild, so... If we do end up going to Grandfather Mountain here in a little bit, I think it's gonna be quite enjoyable today. It's a little overcast and we will, uh, man, we haven't been to Grandfather Mountain since we've been RVing. You know, we used to come to Boone a lot. So this will be uh, the first time for us going back to Grandfather Mountain in 
what, maybe 15 years, I'd say. to the top of Grandfather Mountain. Oh boy, it is. the drive up here was way scarier than I remember. I guess when you're 10, 15 years younger, things don't scare you as much as they do as you get older. So now you know, I looked back, it had been about 10 years since we had been to Grandfather Mountain. And I think this was the first time we actually drove all the way to the top and actually parked at the top parking lot. We stopped at the parking lot down below and did the little quarter mile hike up to the top. I think we saw all those switchbacks and we were just a little too scared back then to even try to attempt to drive on the rest of the way. Oh. oh my God, it's swinging. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing it. <laughs> that wind just scared me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this metal flooring here is really slick. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually holding onto the railing. A little, a little scary. Like Ali said, you're not as high up as uh, the Royal Gorge. Ah, yeah, he's, I still wouldn't want to fall that far. It's still pretty high. And technically, right up here, it's the late mile. Of sea level. So right here, we are literally one mile above sea level. Yeah, it's been a lot of years since we've done this. And there's Allie down there, waiting with a smile on her face. She's so happy she didn't have to cross the bridge. <laughs> oh boy. I, I know, that's what I'm saying. Sorry for the wind noise, because there's gonna be a lot of wind noise, but uh, Allie's too scared to cross the bridge. I just can't. I mean, that's why I said the bridge at Royal Gorge was nothing compared to something like this. Not, uh, not as far down as the other one. Um, yeah. You can really fall through. Oh, yeah. Right now, I am underneath the bridge, a little four tenth of a mile hike out in the back. Short, easy. You can see the big springs here. Cables actually hold this bridge. And you can see them moving as people are walking across. Pretty cool. So it did cost $20 a person per adult to get into Grandfather Mountain here. It's kind of pricey, but hey, if you're gonna be in the area, I think it's worth it for sure. There's a lot of hiking in here, that's for sure but most of it is classified as hard. So we're not gonna do much hiking in here. But you get some different angles of the bridge from down here. It's pretty neat. Yep. All right, there's some more of the springs there. I guess I'll head back to Allie and the family. We're gonna go check out some other things around here. We might stop at a couple stops in the park here while we're here. So I think next we're gonna head over to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I wanna try and find Linville Falls, which we've done before. But we're gonna see what else we can find here in Grandfather Mountain. So Grandfather Mountain is a nonprofit attraction and is a North Carolina State Park. Now we did hear that when we were there that it was privately owned but I think it was only privately owned until 2008. And I think after 2008, it did become a state park. And it is near Linville, North Carolina, and its elevation is 5,946 feet. 
you will see a sign at the top that says keep your vehicle in low gear when you're descending the mountain and this is just like we did when we were out in Colorado at Pikes Peak you know I kept the Bronco out there at no more than second gear most of the time this one here I actually kept the truck in first gear all the way down these first major hills here and this hairpin turn is actually was a little scary because our truck does not turn very sharply so I was definitely have an alley look and make sure nothing was coming because I knew I was gonna swing into the opposite lane when I was making this turn here but if you keep it in low gear you'll be fine it's not that bad and uh, it was actually same as Pikes Peak it was a little scarier honestly going up than it was coming down and of course Allie was having her normal panic attack saying you know I don't think I can do this and I'm like well you know there's no choice now we're there's no really no place to turn around so you have to kind of once you start it you kind of have to go all the way to the top if you, <laughs> you want to get back down so if you're a little bit scared of some hairpin curves like this and you don't think you want to drive all the way to the top well this parking lot here at the uh, upper level is pretty easy to get to it's not near as scary and it's only about a quarter mile hike on up to the bridge okay so when we were here years ago I do not remember anything to do with Forrest Gump being a grandfather mountain and yet they have the Forrest Gump picnic area and as we were driving up we see the sign that says Forrest Gump ran this curve so we're gonna go back Probably we get back home and watch the movie and see if we can figure out, you know, if we can make it out where Forrest Gump ran this curve. Interesting. We surely didn't know that there was any Forrest Gump filming done here at Grandfather Mountain. We knew there was some stuff in uh, Savannah, Georgia, obviously. All right, so we're going to go back down. We're going to try to recreate a photo that we took of Nikki when we were here years ago. So this time we did something that we hadn't done before. We stopped at the uh, Wilson Nature Center and Museum at Grandfather Mountain. And it's located about halfway up the mountain. So on our way back down, we did stop. We explored some of the grounds. We were trying to see Mildred the bear. There was no bear present when we were there, but we did see a bald eagle. We saw some otters. We did see elk. And the museum itself was pretty cool too. There were some pretty neat exhibits in there. There's the bear. There's the bear. So after we finished Grandfather Mountain, we headed on to try to discover where we had seen Linville Falls before. And we did find Linville Falls, but we found a different trail. So this was all new to us. So as we're hiking here, I definitely think, don't you think that this is different? No, the one we did before was just flat. So maybe this takes us more to the bottom of the falls, you know, and the one we did was on the parkway and it took us more to the upper. Yeah, so that's what we're thinking. We're gonna find out. Yeah, this fork in the road takes you to the National Park parking lot, and the one we came in is the U.S. Forest Service parking lot. So I bet you this is the way we came in before over here. I'll make you a bet, right there. There they are! There's the falls, Linville Falls. Right there. Oh, right there and right there. I right kind there. Of kind of expected them to be a little bit more majestic than this. <laughs> But yeah. this is called P Falls. Oh, P Falls. <laughs> P Falls. Lynn P Falls. <laughs> we got some waterfalls right here. Look at that. Going, going down the steps. Yeah. I know. I so said we got water flowing down the steps. Wow. Pretty through here. We definitely did not do this before. This is not the side we did. We're closer to the falls than where we were before. Whatever we did, we were looking at the falls from way above. Yeah. So definitely we were up there, way up there. That's where we saw the falls from before. So this is definitely a different perspective. 
This is massive. All right, we're gonna start the climb back out. Come on, Nick. It's all fun and games until you gotta climb the stairs leading back to the parking lot. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> so as we were leaving Linville Falls, uh, Nori did spot a vineyard off to our right and there was a winery there. So we made a quick little turnaround, pulled back in. Believe it or not, Allie and I have never been to a winery before. So this was our first experience at actually going in and checking out a local vineyard and I have to say it didn't disappoint this place was quite awesome we ended up having a flight of different kinds of wine I had a cherry wine which I really liked everybody else seemed to think it tastes like cough syrup but I liked it uh, Allie's favorite ended up being the oak aged brandy oak aged Cabernet so we ended up picking up a bottle of that picked up a couple of little stickers for our sticker board and uh, we sat and had some cheese and crackers and enjoyed our wine and what a cool little find. So if you're going to be in the area and you're going to be checking out Linville Falls and you like wine, you definitely got to stop into Linville Falls Winery there and check it out. I guess they grow Christmas trees there too. And uh, so it's a family owned business that does wine and Christmas trees. So we hopped on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I wanted to take Jake and Nori and show them what Allie and I had seen a few years ago, which was like the Jesse Brown cabin and the little church there. But unfortunately, as we got close to the mile marker where that's located, the Blue Ridge Parkway got shut down due to some construction. So we were unable to uh, go any further. So we drove on over to the little town of Blowing Rock. Allie and I have been here a couple times before but Nori has never seen it. She was really interested in seeing the cute little downtown and doing some shopping, potentially. We were planning on grabbing lunch there, but the weather just turned very nasty very quickly. It got very rainy. We did check out the museum, which was cool. We've never done that before. Went in, walked around that. It's not a very big museum, but it was very interesting. Well, I can feel the floor is a little unlevel. <laughs> Bed pans. <laughs> I thought it was a dog's water bowl and food bowl. No? <laughs> and I did discover something new that we never noticed before was a little history walk with some little placards uh, kind of explaining the history of Blowing Rock. This is something we did not notice the times we've been here before. It's right here on this street. It's known as the Blowing Rock History Walk. They have a sign here stating that Blowing Rock History Walk. And there's a lot of these little I call them placards. I don't know what they're really called, but uh, little information things. They even have little QR codes here you can scan and it'll take you to more information. Pretty interesting. There's another one way down there and I just passed a couple here. You can see there's one on the other side of the street over here too. So me and Nikki are checking this stuff out while Allie and <clears throat> her dad and stepmom are doing some shopping. This has given me a nickel time to read some of these things on the history here of Blowing Rock. Pretty interesting. Some information on the Tweetsie Railroad, which we, we see a lot of that up here and didn't really know what it is, but it this basically explains the whole history of the Tweetsie Railroad. Pretty cool. This is, we're on a mission. <laughs> this is gonna happen tonight. You guys are making me nervous with that mic. I know, right? Oh, and I'm afraid she's gonna pull backwards and hit that boiling water. I'm good. So they're doing this for their daughter. <laughs> what parent do you know out there would fight this hard to make sure that their daughter has alcohol? Me, I will. <laughs> Here we go, I'm good. I would just push it down in there. Yeah, just push it down. Yeah, because it's not further. its not gonna break. Uh, the cork is no. gonna break up no. now, so. No. Yeah, just get it passed in there. And we'll see if it's any good. Tastes good to me. All right. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Look at my nephew go. 
he's only been playing like two days. Right? <laughs> well, we are out and about again today, making another journey out to Elk River Falls. Today we're going to take a little hike and check out some waterfalls. It should be pretty roaring since it's been raining um, for the past few days. We'll leave the link above and show you that video that we had in the past. It was about four or five years ago that we actually visited these waterfalls. So we are here at Elk River Falls and this is something we did uh, probably four or five years ago and it was suggested to us by a friend when we were staying up here in Boone. So we thought we'd come back and check it out again this time and show Jake and Nori. There are some massive waterfalls at the end of this little hike. <laughs> You could fall for the, you know, you could fall into it for the YouTube. It would be a great deal it would, yes. if I did that. So when we were here before, they actually had a tree where they had posted about the deaths and injuries that have occurred here. I don't see that this time, but they do have this new sign since we've been here. So it's gotten a little bit sketchy here on this trail being wet and the rocks wet. So I'm gonna go on down to show you guys some of the footage down here from the bottom while Allie and her family and Nikki stay back up towards the top there. I just don't wanna take any chances. It's not worth getting hurt. Pretty massive. Wow. Well, it is Sunday morning. This is going to be our last day here in North Carolina. Nikki was uh, a little under the weather last night. She was, uh, she didn't seem like she was feeling bad, but she wasn't eating. So we did give her another pain pill like we did on our trip to uh, Colorado. And after 20 minutes or so, she was eating. And so she must be having some, a little bit of pain going on, probably arthritis and stuff. But we are not sure what we're going to do today because, uh, as you can see, it's not the greatest of weather again. It has pretty much rained the whole time we've been here. We are downtown Boone. Look at this. Are you going to sit down, Ross? Love it. Put your arm around him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How cool That's is that? That's cool. <laughs>
So after spending, what is this now? Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, three nights in a cabin. I'm gonna say that me and Allie are both leaning towards, we miss the RV, we really do. Um, it's been fun and all that, but uh, when we're done adventuring for the day, it's kind of nice just to be in your own RV and being able to relax because it's like your own home. So what do we think about cabin life? Uh, not opposed to doing it again in the future, but we definitely, given the opportunity or the choice, we'll take our RV.